welcome back to my channel so today's topic i feel a little bit naughty mischievous but you know this is a topic i really have to talk about okay i feel like there's so many misconceptions regarding this topic and as a champion of it and someone who's been going through this for some time and will still go through it i need to talk about it okay so i'm going to be talking about being a cs mom choosing to be a cs mom the pros that come with it the reasons why some of us may choose this route and yeah everything about just being a cs mom okay when i mean cs when i say cs i mean cesarean section mom okay like giving birth to your baby through surgery and not vaginally so obviously we all know that you can give birth vaginally or through the cesarean section and this video if you're one of those who that is a frown upon giving birth through cs or you look down on those of us that give birth through cs then better click out of this video because this video is not for you okay but if you're looking to gain more insights more information then stay tuned grab a glass of wine juice cup of tea whatever rocks your boat and just stay seated and hear me out okay so as some of you know i'm a pregnant mama of one so i had i have one baby already who is one year old she's that about almost 30 months and i have i'm pregnant as well okay and both of them are going to be under two years old that's crazy so i gave birth just a year ago and i'm already like six months pregnant again so yeah and i gave birth through cs the first pregnancy i have my delivery story here i'm going to link it down below but the first pregnancy was not planned it wasn't i didn't have a planned cs okay it was an emergency cesarean section that is when you don't go into the hospital thinking oh i'm going to deliver this baby through operation through cs but it just so happens with the ton of events that you end up having a cesarean section okay i don't need to get into the details of why i had an emergency cs but that's just reality of what happened to me okay so i've never experienced vaginal delivery would i love to experience it honestly yes just so that i feel like i'm not missing out on anything just so i feel complete because a lot of times when you come out and say oh i gave birth to cs the first question is why so when i, I tried to go to this other um, obstetrician not my regular obstetrician and he was like eh were you induced how many times did they induce you uh-uh they should have done this now where did you give birth the doctor did not do that i'm like hey god is this attitude that you're having right now making me explain explain and explain again that makes a lot of people frown upon CS, that makes a lot of people look down on CS moms, that makes a lot of people feel like they need to give birth vagina even when their life is at risk. Okay? For a lot of people, CS is just not an option or a choice. It is a necessity. It is to ensure the whole essence of this surgery existing is to ensure that the mother and the baby are alive and healthy okay it's very important to remember that because when you're having a really really tough labor experience and they offer you say madam madam see i'm sorry but we're gonna have to do a cs if you feel within your heart that okay they are talking nonsense maybe refuse and keep trying but my trust mind is advising me to tell you guys that see if you've tried and tried and tried and tried and let me say if you like my own case when you're in labor for like two days and you're not making progress and you're fetal your baby's heart rate is dropping you you're in distress as well maybe your bp is low like my own case then go for the cs because the doctors really do try their best to give birth to help you give birth vaginally okay before they even offer cs so when you're offered a cs so long as you feel like your life is actually in danger and that of your baby See, don't wait too long or before it to end in tears. It's one of the reasons why a lot of people have uh, give birth to babies that don't make it because they were trying their best to give birth vaginally when they could have brought out that baby via CS a long time ago. Okay, so just have an open mind when you're going into delivery, labor. Don't let... Because, you see, when I told you guys that I gave birth to CS, you don't even want to know the amount of people that were telling me, hey, why now? Ah, the doctor jumped into conclusion. How do you know? Are you the doctor? Are you a midwife? Are you a doula? How do you know? Are you qualified to make that assumption? So... I was really really annoyed and hence why i'm making this video without talking too much i'm going to just tell you again so this time around i'm going to go for a cs and the reason why is because number one i'm having this baby just 16 months after i had my other my previous baby okay that's a very short time frame it's not that i cannot try vaginal birth though. they'll probably let me try if i wanted to like go into the whole label and then it will probably still end in another cesarean section but the truth is 
like i'm very likely to have a uterine rupture because of the time frame okay if i waited two years then okay i'll say at least i can try you know they will have confidence now this might not even happen i might not have a uterine rupture or whatever but it's just safer it, cs is a safer choice even though it's surgery and there's let me tell you something you guys don't know there's nothing easy about cs okay even the first day after you have the CS, within the first day, you cannot even just turn and lift your baby. You're in so much pain. You're, they are loading you up with painkillers. Like the healing is not here for two weeks. I remember calling my cousin that has had the CS before. Two of them that have had CS before, just complaining about how much pain I was in, and them just consoling me, telling me that this is something that happens normally. I should just hang in there. Like I would not choose to go through that pain. Eh? And I even spoke to my other cousin who has had a CS and then a vaginal birth, and she told me, see. Let me tell you something. The pain is not comparable. The pain, to, like when you have a CS, is out of this world. That when she had a CS, she couldn't even move. That she was on painkiller for a whole day. To stand up was wahala. The nurses had to help her come and carry her baby. And then her mom, of course, helped her out. But you see, when she gave birth vaginally, she was up and about. She even went to the store like the next day once she was released from the hospital. And of course, she felt a lot of pain, but she felt like once she just used her numbing spray and all the supplies she had, like she was fine. But you see, a day after my CSM, I was still bending like I couldn't even stand up straight. So, well, like, it's not easy, it's not an easy way out. It doesn't make you less of a mom, it doesn't make you less of a woman. The fact that you went through that pregnancy process eh, and you birthed that child, CS or vaginally, that makes you a very strong person, okay? I'm not just saying this because of my own experience, but like this even the fact that even if even if it was two years already since i had naya and i want to share a vagina birth I, there's another reason why i cannot do that okay because i have like there's just the way my cervix my, ut my uterus is set up and because of my medical history it's just not advisable they won't advise me to do it okay because a lot of times the reason is why you had a cs in the first place is likely to happen again like so i have a cousin who she was going to try vaginal birth. This is not the one who gave birth vaginally after his CS. But basically, the whole incident of what happened her first time around is what happened the second time. And so she ended up having a labor process and they're still having a CS. So she felt like, oh my God, I should have just listened to my obstetrician, which a lot of times you should, okay? Don't even take my word for it in this video. Go and listen to your obstetrician, consult with them, make the right decision for yourself. The whole point of this video is to just let you know that you should always keep an open mind when you're going into delivery. Anything can happen. Try your possible best to push that baby out. But if it's not working out, if you feel like your life is in danger, don't be hoping on Jesus to come down from heaven and miraculously deliver your baby. I'm not saying that God cannot intervene, but just know that CS might save, just save your life. And you should be open-minded to it. And you should not mind people that look down upon it because they are not in any position to judge or advise you. Okay? Okay? So, I feel like I've not even covered everything I want to say in this video, but I shall get, I shall hopefully got my point across that you need to keep an open mind. I understand that CS is for the safety of yourself and your baby, okay? And with a CS, you can have up to six children, maybe not nine or ten. <laughs> That's the downside of it, but you can have up to six children so long as they are well planned and thought out and you have adequate care, you see. So, a lot of people tell you, uh, people choose to have CS because they don't want their VJJ to change shape, they don't want it to become loose, they don't want, you know, they want to make it tight for their hobby, whatever, like that's absolute nonsense, okay? A lot of times people don't choose CS because of that, at least I can tell you that 98% of women who go through CS, they didn't have superficial reasons like that, okay? They probably just chose it for with for the health of their baby and for themselves okay and have you not heard people that will have all these um really bad tears and you know they have bladder issues like incontinence and their pelvic floor is weak all those things the chances of those things happening when you have a cs is greatly reduced okay so they just go to your uterus straight and bring out the baby so your birth canal your whole passage where the baby normally would normally come out from is preserved so you have less risk of everything that could go wrong there okay there are so many so many like downsides of having a cs as well though. it's not as if it's easy you could get infection if you don't care for your wound size you could have hemorrhage which could also even happen with a vaginal delivery as well 
um, you could get blood clots from all the IVs and the epidural, the anesthesia, everything. In fact, everything that you went through, your feet is usually swollen after the CS because of all the fluids you got during delivery and labor. So it's not an easy way out. So the, like, don't I don't want anybody coming to tell me this is my life that oh that why now that was the easy way out. Uh uh like or you can't push you don't have energy shake it there if you think that a lot of people that go through cs cannot push i can tell you most of the time that's not the reason why they had a cs okay you see pushing every woman's body is designed to do it so when you are not able to have that or when you're not able to do that it's for other reasons it's not because you're not strong enough you see <laughs> If you go to labor, a lot of people, like I went to labor and I still had to give birth to CS. Do you know the nightmare that is? Do you know the nightmare that is? Eh? Do you understand? So if I say what I say because I don't have power to push, I will seriously insult you and your life. But that's not the point of this video. I shall made my point. Don't look down on people that have CS. And there are people like us CS that are choosing to be CS moms. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? And I'm going to talk about this openly because I want to educate other women. But yeah, that's pretty much it you guys for this video if you want me to talk about my experience more please let me know if you're not for my a family member say present and um, if you're a fellow CS mom say hi um because i'm going to be in the comment section replying and reading your comments and experiences please share your own labor experience so if you had an emergency cs or it was an elective one what led you to that decision let's go let's get talking in comment section okay but um i'll see you guys tomorrow okay bye <laughs> Did I just say tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow in my vlog, but I'll probably upload another video in a couple days, okay? So, bye!